India is among the most active nations in furthering renewable sources of energy and also the most attractive emerging market for clean energy investment. When we talk about biofuels, what do they do? They are environment friendly, effectively address global concerns about containment of uh, carbon emission and promote sustainable development goals set by the UN. On the occasion of World Biofuel Day observed every year on 10th August, Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated a 900 crore ethanol plant in Panipat. Based on state-of-the-art indigenous technology, the project will turn a new chapter in India's waste to wealth endeavors by utilizing about 2 lakh tons of the straw annually to generate around 3 crore litres of ethanol annually. Apart from this, the launch of this plant will empower farmers and provide an additional income generation opportunity for them. The project will provide direct employment to people involved in the plant operation and indirect employment will be generated in the supply chain for rice, straw, cutting, handling, storage, etc. But why do we need biofuels? Well, biofuels are touted as an alternative to conventional fossil fuels. Derived from renewable biomass resources, biofuels reduce import dependency on crude oil. The current crisis going on in Sri Lanka, Pakistan, Bangladesh and a few other countries has been greatly spurred by the energy crisis. The conventional energy sources are fast depleting across the world, forcing even the energy export dependent economies to switch to other ways to sustain that to themselves. Hence, biofuels are the need of the hour as they help to have a cleaner environment besides generating additional income for farmers and employment for a huge number of people, especially in rural and semi-urban areas. Indian Biofuel Economy Considering the advantages of biofuels, the government of India has emphasized achieving energy security for the country with a target of reducing import dependence. Since 2014, a number of initiatives have been taken to increase the blending of biofuels. The major interventions include administrative price mechanism for ethanol, simplifying the procurement procedures of OMC, amending the provisions of the industry, the Development and Regulation Act 1951, and enabling lingocellulosic route for ethanol procurement. With the National Policy on Biofuels 2018 worked with the objective of reaching 20% ethanol blending and 5% biodiesel blending by the year 2030. However, considering the encouragement, the target of 20% ethanol blending was advanced from 2030 to 2025 and 26. To encourage this campaign, the government has also reduced GST on ethanol for blending in fuel. Under the biodiesel blending program, oil marketing companies have increased biodiesel procurement from 1.1 crore litres during 2015 and 16 to 10.6 crore litres during 2019 and 20. India is a large agricultural economy and there is a large number of agricultural residues available. Therefore, the scope of producing biofuels is immense and the country may achieve self-sufficiency in the energy sector in the coming years. But well, thank you for watching PVNS. Thank you.